Camouflage is the name of the game, and all these animals have the world beat ten times over. From an elusive octopus that looks like a furball to a leafy piece of seaweed that turned out to be a sea dragon, here are some insane sea creatures with camouflage so good, they're basically invisible. Let's get into it. Number 8. Ghost Pipefish What comes to mind when you hear the word ghost? A very anonymous, deceptive, uncanny, hard-to-detect, intelligent creature, right? The ghost pipefish is all those things except they exist in the physical form. Their ghostly way is what gives them their name. You see, ghost pipefish are master mimics that use their color, shape, and spikes to blend in with the rocks, seagrass, and coral reef on which they live. They're usually found hanging tail up in the water with uncanny mimicry of crinoids, algae, sponges, and seagrass, where they wait patiently to devour any unsuspecting prey. They come in a few flavors, ornate, harlequin, velvet, and hairy ghost pipefish, just to name a few, and each have varying colors, textures, and body spikes or hair that they developed when young to match their surroundings. Their ghostly-like ways help them hide from predators as well as approach prey, sucking up tiny crustaceans through that straw-like mouth. Number 7. Hairy Octopus This tiny puffball of cuteness is one of the hardest to find octopuses in the world. Divers consider the hairy octopus as the holy grail of weird and cool marine creatures. At a length of around 2 to 5 centimeters and an arm length of 3 to 10 centimeters, this well-disguised cephalopod is often mistaken for a tuft of algae to the untrained eye. Not much is known about these elusive octos. Typically, they've been found in the Lemba Strait, mainly in the months of October and November and they likely share the carnivorous ways of all octopuses. The elusive furball ranges in color from cream, white, brown, pink, and vibrant red, either with or without spots or patterns. Of course, as the name suggests, the most distinguishing feature of the hairy octopus is the long and hairy tissue or skin flaps that cover their entire body and arms. So the next time you see a piece of algae or plant matter sweeping across the ocean floor, take a closer look. It may be looking right back at you. Number 6. Crocodile Fish For something that's named after a crocodile and is closely related to the deadly stonefish and scorpionfish, you'd think it'd be the most terrifying thing to exist, right? Well, say hello to their nerdy, uglier cousin with a severe underbite, the crocodile fish. These predatory bottom-dwelling fish use their camouflage to ambush prey, lying motionless on the ocean floors with their mottled pattern and colors breaking up their outline, helping them blend in with their surroundings. Living on sandy or rubble substrates near mangroves, seagrass, or coral reefs, they patiently wait to nab and swallow whole any unsuspecting fish or crustaceans that wander too close. And just to level up their own camouflage, they have eye fringes or frilly iris lappets that help break up the solid color of their eyes, further helping them go unnoticed. Number 5. Leafy Sea Dragon We move on to a fish that looks like the product of seaweed and seahorse crossbreeding. They're undoubtedly among the strangest looking fish in the world and named for their plant-like appearance. These pipefish and seahorse cousins have adapted to the point where it's almost impossible to tell them apart from seaweed or kelp moving across the ocean floor. With a literal view that looks like a caricature of Scrat from Ice Age, the leafy sea dragon moves in the water very slowly with the help of translucent dorsal and pectoral fins, adding to the whole floating seaweed charade. Remember the ghost pipefish? Well, leafy sea dragons play the same game of will I be eaten or will I eat you? They rely heavily on their plant-like appearance and motions to remain hidden from predators lurking close by, as well as they lure prey in with that same deceptive appearance, sucking up any small crustaceans venturing too close with their pipe-like snout. Number 4. Flounder Is this an underwater floating carpet? Well, it's kind of the ultimate camouflage for a fish, even if it's homely looking. But why would a fish want to look like a carpet in the first place? To avoid being spotted, of course, flounders love to hug the seafloor and are opportunistic hunters, feeding on small fish and crustaceans. To avoid being hunted themselves, they lie motionless on the seafloor, their colors and textures blending with the substrates, and bury themselves with a thin layer of sand using a fluttering motion of the body. Some also have a pretty cool trick up their sleeve, a fin. When swimming near the surface, their skin becomes almost see-through. And when swimming along the bottom, their skin can imitate different colors and patterns found on the seafloor, 
all made possible by chromatophores. These ambush predators make this sideways way of life work by having eyes right on top of their bodies. Oddly enough, they're born with eyes on either side of their body. It's not until they're fully matured that one eye meets the other on the top side. They feel right at home in a world made by Picasso. Number 3. Pygmy Seahorse Next, we move on to another master of disguise no bigger than a paperclip. While other fish use camouflage to hunt or look cool, yeah, I'm talking to you, cuttlefish, pygmy seahorses aren't about that life. They're simply too small and too fragile to fight predators on their own, so they've evolved to ensure the survival of their species by avoiding predators altogether by blending perfectly into their surroundings. Pygmy seahorses live in gorgonian sea fans, coral walls, soft corals, and seagrasses, and are most active at night, dining on small crustaceans. These adorably dwarfed creatures camouflage by matching their host coral or habitat, displaying vibrant and pale colors, patterns, and textures. The most famous pygmy seahorse has bumps, known as tubercles, covering their bodies to help them blend in with the gorgonian coral's polyps. Good luck finding these adorable tiny creatures. Number 2. Octopus Ah yes, the infamous and devious octopus famed for its shifting shades, shifting shapes, and clever antics. We just can't get enough of them. Apparently, they can't get enough of us either. The secret to their color-changing ways lies just beneath their skin. Octopuses have thousands of special cells called chromatophores. Each cell has a tiny sac that contains a pigment ranging in color and is controlled by nerves and muscles. When expanding or contracting these sacs, they can rapidly change the pigment to be more or less prominent. In addition, the clever cephalopods can alter the papillae in their skin, modifying the shape and texture to mimic coral, rock, sand, and other landscape elements. This fancy party trick is what helps them blend effortlessly with the background hiding away from those who want to feast on them. Should they be caught, they can sacrifice an arm in order to get away as they can regrow a fully functioning one in around six to eight weeks. Number 1. Candy Crab Some animals look good, while some taste good, and some they've got both. The candy crab is one such critter. Consequently, they've had to adapt to avoid being eaten all the time by creatures of the sea and humans. Candy crabs camouflage themselves by mimicking the colors of the surrounding soft corals in which they hide. To make themselves even more undetectable, they attach the coral polyps to their carapace. Their tiny size and near-perfect camouflage makes it difficult to tell where their coral home ends and where they begin. Sharing in a mutually beneficial relationship with the coral it lives on, candy crabs dine on plankton caught up in the corals and clear out unwanted matter in return. The colors of these spiky underwater crustaceans vary from coral to coral, so they could be hanging out somewhere around here and you probably wouldn't see them. Pretty nifty for such tasty crabs. All this stealthy camouflage begs the question, are these true superpowers? No wonder we're fascinated by these crazy creatures. I wonder what else there is to discover in the ocean that's been living undetected right before our eyes. We'll catch you later.